Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another daily dice where we ask the dice for a message and find out what that is. Keeping in mind they are general readings so take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you are interested in supporting the channel further you'll find all those links necessary below in the description box in order to do so. You may email me for a personal reading and I will get you more information from there. And you may also follow me on over to my podcast on Spotify at Scatter Love Radio. If you're interested in becoming a member, there's a join button down below. When you click on that, it'll show you the three levels I have available as well as the options that come with each level. So I do hope to see you there and if not, thank you for your continued support here. So today we are going to ask, what is the next blessing I'm receiving? So it's blessing or gift is what they're showing me here, okay? So it could be a gift, it could be a blessing, but we're going to ask, what is the next blessing or gift that my collective is receiving source? What is the next blessing or collective, or my, <laughs> a gift that my collective is receiving? Source, what is the next blessing or gift that my collective is receiving? All right, so we've got the fifth house. We have Capricorn energy and we have Mercury. So some sort of communication is coming through for you. It could be a date, could be romantically. It could be about a new adventure. This could be about something that you've worked really hard for to receive, to go someplace new. Uh, it really does feel like though, this is something that's coming in the form of communication. Okay, so your next gift or blessing is actually one of communication. Someone's coming through to tell you something. Something that you've healed a lot from, something that you've worked really hard and diligently for, something that you've shown up and put in the effort, the time, and the discipline to receive, and they're going to come forward and communicate that to you. And I feel like this is going to bring a sense of joy and freedom and it's going to lift your spirits like you've just kind of been on autopilot for a while and you're just like oh my gosh like this is really heavy this is a lot i've done the best that i could like i've done everything that i thought what i was supposed to do but i'm just not getting anywhere and this is a message that's going to come in and say look like your hard work is paying off. Your dedication to yourself is paying off. Your dedication to healing for love is paying off. Like you're letting go of something that was holding you back. And this is a belief system that was in your mind that was holding you back. And you come into a place where it's like basically through your hard work and learning the patience through your hard work, you're surrendering that completely. You're like, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it be. I'm and I want to see who I'm meant to be through that. But it's almost like you didn't know you were letting it go, right? It's just because you continue to show up, you continue to do the work, you continue to be there for yourself, that you literally just some way along the way, just like released it like a balloon into the air, back to source, like, okay, here's source, like you can have that. And it's freed you up to receive what's next okay so we're gonna get some cards on this and see if we can kind of get a better understanding of what this is okay so can you tell us more and i'll get a variety of the cards so that way if it's work if it's love whatever we cover all our bases here but can you give us more source about what this gift or blessing is for the collective what more can you tell us about this what more can you tell us about this source? Thank you. <laughs> Curiosity, intellect, and networking with Gemini, which is Mercury and energy as well. So absolutely something that is communication, something that's transformative, it feels like here as well. And networking is just showing that this is someone who's coming in right? It is, this is a message that's coming into you. Okay. So with the moon here, there's a bit of a secrecy to this. Like source doesn't really want to reveal exactly what this is because it's meant to be a surprise. We have satisfy emotional needs, nurture self and others. And so again, this is that energy of coming through. It's going to be really fulfilling for you. This is something that is going to be extremely fulfilling and satisfying when you receive it. 
We have love makes a difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So they're absolutely confirming exactly what I felt. Like this is you healing. You've done a lot of healing here. You've opened yourself up to love. You've let go of what once was and you're allowing yourself to receive your self-worth and understanding that right now in this here now, now here moment, you are exactly who you're meant to be to receive all that you desire. But the belief of that has to come before you can receive that, right? So we have love is all around you. There's love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth, right? And this is what I feel like you're doing. You're acknowledging that there is love all around you. You're not alone. You never have been alone. You don't need to feel like you're lonely. Being lonely and being alone are two different things. And I feel like right now you're facing the fact that like I'm not lonely. I'm not alone. Like I'm not, I'm not in this journey alone and I'm not meant to be lonely. Yeah, you're meant to be a leader here. You're going to be leading others on a new path, okay, with elephant here. And this is something that you've held on to for a long time, right? Like an elephant never forgets. So this is something that you've held on to for a long time. Like this is what you've always wanted to do. This is something that you've always wanted to, to be. And this could have been you being held back by ancestral curses, right? Generational curses. This could have been you being held back by your family even with ancestors and polar bear here. This is like old beliefs that you're letting go of. You're no longer letting them freeze you out from your journey, right? Look, underneath that, we have Jekyll with the truth. And this is number 26, which is 8, and then 44, which is 8. But this is also a master number of stability. So we have 444 four, four coming out because this is 31. Okay? We also have 88 eight coming out together here. So it's like the truth here is like you're no longer letting people freeze you out. Like it's, it's like whatever person thinks of you, you're just like, fine. That's cool. That's your problem, not mine. Like, that doesn't affect you anymore. It's like I said, it's like you're letting go. Yeah, and you've worked hard. You're staying vigilant. You're staying true to your path. Like, there have been ebbs and flows. There's definitely been really high highs and really low lows. And it's like just exhausting sometimes going through that. It's like, I know that's the process. I know that's everything that I have to do. Like, I know this is what I'm meant to be doing. But it doesn't make it any less exhausting, right? And so there's this feeling of just like, when is something going to give? And there's some sort of communication that's coming in that's going to let you know that you've done the right thing. It's going to make you feel stronger. And it's going to make you recognize that you were strong through this whole process, right? You never gave up. You asked Source to help you clear the mystery, right? Can you please clear the mystery here? Is this what I'm meant to be doing? And I feel like a lot of that comes from a sense of fulfillment as well, right? No longer wondering, is this, you know, am I meant to be doing this? What is this? We have wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Yeah, again, this idea, it's been very exhausting for you. It's been a very long journey. It's been a very hard journey. It's been a very difficult journey, but you've still shown up. You've still done the work. Then we have starfish with open to the infinite possibility. And I feel like this is just that confirmation that, you're bringing an infinite, new, abundant being to this part of your journey. Yourself, you're letting go of what once was, okay? And then in the form of letting it go, it's like when you finally relinquish your control or your want to hold on to it, when that happens, then communication comes in, all right? See the big picture. Yeah, with number, this is number 11, 29 in numerology is 11. That's a master number here. And it's like very spiritual. This is something that source is a, it's a gift from source. This is a blessing from source. This is like help. I'm sending you help. But in the form of a secret here, like it's not something that's going to be well known until it happens, right? All right. Thank you education you may need to take a class or do research to find a better position or you may find yourself writing a book or teaching others you're being a leader you're being you are being molded into being the leader that you were always meant to become and part of that comes through struggle and i feel like a lot of people have a hard time 
understanding or understanding that because it's like, well, I shouldn't have to go through all these hardships. Like if I'm meant to be this great person, why do I have to experience all these hardships? And it's actually the hardships that make you a great leader because it's how you choose to respond instead of react to those situations. That's what makes you a great leader. And that's what in turn molds you into being someone that is sought after for wisdom. <laughs> wisdom. We have perfectionism with perfection here. Give up your perfectionism. It's causing delay in your finances. You will never get ahead if you don't overcome the fear of failure. You are enough and have what it takes to improve your finances. So again, this idea of coming into the understanding, more or less the inner standing that you are enough as you are. And it's all the things that you've experienced as a whole that have brought you into this now moment. Okay. And then we have renewal. You need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and break through. And on the bottom of the deck, we have slow. Make slow progress, but you're getting there. Remember, slow and steady work leads to success that is sustainable. Time to stop putting things off for later when you need to do it now. So don't hold off any longer. Do what needs to be done. Okay. Keep going towards yourself on the journey. Keep going for your healing. Right. Finding love. Letting go of the old beliefs that you've had. Wondering if it's working or not. It is. It is. Sometimes it's hard. Right. Sometimes life is going to be hard. And just because you're healing doesn't mean that that is like a sudden pass to, oh, not experiencing hardships anymore. That's such a confusing thing, right? It's like, well, when I'm healing, so it means that I shouldn't have to deal with the hardships anymore. Well, that's not at all because life is, we live in a contrast realm, which means that it has its ups and downs. That's just the way that it is. We look around for some signs. Think the, un the universe is speaking to you. So this is showing that this is a message direct from source. Listen to your body and do what it is asking of you. So there's some of this is some of you are holding this deep within the body. And when you let this go, you're going to feel a lot better. A little bit of faith goes a long way. Remember that and we had. Which one was it? Didn't we have faith here? Oh, yeah. Have faith and break through. So we're asking you to have faith that everything is working out exactly as it should be what's on the bottom here trust yourself always trust others once they've earned it okay and then open your heart not just a little all the way and let the love flow in so this is a very important message like the blessing and the gift is really just you letting go of something that was holding you back whether that's from love from finances in life as a leader as manifesting what it is that you want and the reason that this is so general is because it has to be. You cannot, like, I can't compare my journey to yours because we're on two separate journeys, right? And you can't compare your journey to your friends because you're on two separate journeys. Like, everybody is somewhere different in their own journey. And it's an entirely different journey. And that's why it's not pinning it down. But ultimately, Source made it very clear that the reason that this is so secretive is because they want it to be a surprise. But what they want you to know is that the next gift or blessing that you're receiving is going to be something that's going to be very fulfilling for you on your journey. Okay. And it's going to be something that helps you out entirely. So whether that's a person, a place, a thing, money, abundance, whatever it is, it could be travel. It could be love. It could be anything. It's going to make you feel fulfilled and whole and complete. But you how can you in this moment come into that feeling and that emotion? Because that's what brings you closer to it each step of the way. Okay, so this is what I see for you. If you feel like this is your reading, leave a little emoji, an elephant emoji down below and say, my healing allows me to set myself free and to flow with life's up and ups and downs. Leave me a thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. I do want to take a quick second, though, to thank your guide, your spirit messengers, your angel source of my guides for coming together to give us this message. And until next time, stay human. Bye.